welcome everybody. Ooh, we already got some comments in here. Hello, everybody. Ah, uh, where to start? Where to start? Jeez. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to this chat. Welcome to this live. Okay, so today's message is very powerful one. Um, okay, very powerful, like the Super Saiyan shirt. Okay, I'm getting like you're a Super Saiyan. You're super amazing. You have some type of superpower here. Okay, you're chosen. So, um, today's video is um, God hiding you in plain sight. Okay, so Spirit is saying that God hid you in plain sight from your enemies. Okay, this could be friends, family, co-workers, just the people around you. Okay, so um, another download that I have written here, yeah, you're a star, is they didn't know, okay, Spirit saying that your enemies didn't know what you carry inside of you. There's something inside of you that you carry that's truly divine and your enemies, they don't know about this, right? And God did this for a reason. It says, they didn't know what you carry inside of you. They thought that you were common they thought that you were just a regular person, but they didn't know that you were divine and the energy that you carry inside of you, right? So God hid you in plain sight because he heard your enemy speak badly about you. He heard conversations privately held that you didn't, okay? And these things were said about you. So if some of you guys feel alone right now, if you lost friends, um, if you lost you know, um, if you feel alone or whatever, this is because God wanted it to be this way. Okay. Because he's taking you to the next level. It's your time, but a lot had to be revealed. There were things that you didn't know. You could be a cancer here. Aquarius, I keep getting moon energy, but please remember this is a collective reading. This is for all signs. This is not a specific sign, um, particularly, so, yeah, and I did just take a nap. So if I look a little tired, literally, I just woke up. <laughs> so anyways, bottom of the deck, we have I carry the blood of a goddess. Okay, so you are divine. Like I keep picking up. You carry the blood of a goddess or a god, right? For my males and females. This is just all energy, guys. So please be mindful about that. Hey, thank you so much, Aquarius Goddess, for your donation, love. I'm writing you down on my book of Maji here, where I take notes of the ones who donate, contribute to the channel, who have been helpful, okay? And um, I do something very special to those that do. Just to reciprocate the energy, right? It's all about giving and receiving. So Aquarius Goddess, thank you so much for your support. So let's begin this reading. All right. So you carry the blood of a goddess here. So let's get this going. I had a pretty busy Monday, guys. So I don't know how you guys' Mondays was. But um, I was pretty freaking busy all day answering phone calls, doing so much. I had to take a nap. I don't really sleep during the day. So I did feel a little drained, but hey, <laughs> here I am. Heather Miller, welcome to becoming a magician, love. Welcome to the tribe. <clears throat> Ancestor spirit guys of the highest white light, I please ask you to please come through and help me deliver this message here and now. Thank you. Okay, so I just heard something. Thank you, Divine Desires Tarot, for your donation. Um, I just heard something about your frequency, right? Because I use this singing bowl, and when you tap it, it, like, creates this sound. But if there's something around it, right? Like, if I was to put this rock, this crystal next to it, and I tap it... See, it has like a weird resistance. So it's like, you know, we're all energy and frequency. I feel like the people that have been around you with the symbolism is got a meaning, like the people that have been around you 
have blocked your um your light your frequency okay it's like um it's like a friction issue here okay so something around you it's like taking your energy not really letting your true sound okay your true spirit is what i'm getting so thank you so much candace for your donation many blessings to you What's all that weird water on it? That doesn't look normal. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Jakea Bot Bolton as well. Okay. So Let's get this going. I just got some tea that looks type odd here. I may not drink it. Like, what is this bubbles coming from? This never happens. It never happens. This is, what water is this? Like, this is insane. <sighs> so, let's get into this, yeah? I'm getting, like, distractions. Your enemies have tried to distract you. They try to poison you. All right, they try to put things in your drinks, in your food, and you still live. So, you still live because you're chosen. They can't take you out. <laughs> they can put whatever freaking poison they want. <laughs> they can put whatever poison they want, and they still can't kill you. So, yeah. Hold on. I don't know why I'm not up making this chair go a little higher. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Because, shit, we on a throne, right? You sitting on a throne. Nobody knew that how you were sitting on a throne here, okay? And look at this. You need to remove yourself from that environment. ASAP is on the top of the deck, which is exactly what I just expressed with the sound bowl. When you have a sound bowl and you have things around it, it blocks the sound resonance from truly, um, you know, vibrating at a larger scale. Only like, you know, so... You need to move away. I feel like some of you guys have already been guided to move away from these individuals. Um, some of you guys are being guided to do this right now. But because I'm doing this message, I'm really getting that you have, okay? This is somebody, this message is for somebody that has already moved away from this environment because they've been guided to God, universe, your spirit guides, ancestors have been guiding you, okay? To move away. You're too gifted. You've been dimming your light. I don't know who you are, but you've been like dimming your freaking light and it's it's time like to cut that shit out yeah look we have gifted popping out so you're gifted you're a child born with many gifts okay could be spiritual could be just talents here thank you tyrone bates for your donation um but yeah you have some sort of gift here you're very special right you're chosen you're anointed whoever i'm speaking about this is somebody that is very very gifted here okay I'm also hearing like you are the gift as well. Tell me about this um this person that was hidden in plain sight spirit. What does this person need to know? What does the collective need to know about this anointing and why they were hidden or any other messages that want to come through? Okay, this is where this is us starting the reading, right? Some of you guys have um, a musical gift. I keep hearing musical gift. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. Go get your tea. All right. Go get your tea. Because <laughs> you need to calm down and relax. All right. Some Someone there is drinking red wine. Somebody. Okay. The next card we have is your kundalini is awakening. Trust it. It's good for you. Exactly. So some of you guys here, whoever this person is, whoever you are, whoever you people are, because it may be a few of you here that are anointed, Spirit is saying, um, mm -hmm. I'm getting that um, your kundalini is awakening, right, or has awakened, and that is why you had to remove yourself from these people because they couldn't be there, all right, during this kundalini. When your kundalini is rising, you're literally... Um, become super enlightened. You you wake up from this matrix. You recognize your gifts. 
you have some sort of spiritual awakening and I personally definitely have gone to my Kundalini awakening and I can't wait to go through my next phase. Thank you, Kimberly Brooks. Welcome to becoming a member. Um, so that's that, <laughs> right? Don't forget to like this video, guys, if you want to claim that you're the anointed one, okay? If you feel called to it, obviously, you know, um, it does help to like the video so it spreads the word to God's children who needs to hear this message, okay? Because this is very powerful. Somebody might feel very sad that they don't have any friends or family members right now, okay? It's because this is revelation time. Or for some of you, revelation time already happened and this is like action time. You're taking the steps into your, um, your career, your destiny, your life purpose. You're awakening to who you are. You're awakening to sort of some type of gift here. And you're being removed from these lower frequencies. You're being removed from these people. Hey, what up, E? You know, you're being removed from these individuals because you're the one that's anointed. You're the one that's chosen. And there's a lot of poison around you, okay? There's a lot of bad apples. And you don't want to be around a bad apple, right? So that's what God is doing. God is removing you. You're probably like, why does this person stop talking to me? How come this person doesn't text me? What did I do? Well, their spirit cannot text you. Their spirit cannot call you. Their spirit cannot see you because they know you're chosen because God has put it that way. If these people come near you, they will stop your ascension here. Tell me uh, something else here, okay? Something about levitation, okay? Someone here has the power to levitate. This is one of your spiritual gifts, okay? You have a lot of hidden powers. Exactly, guys, look. I literally just said this. You have a lot of hidden powers. Meditate, okay? Some of you guys are being encouraged to meditate um, and believe, okay? You have to meditate and believe to access this gift. Some of you guys have emailed me, Maji, how do I awaken my intuitive gifts? How do I awaken my, um, you know, all these gifts? Well, you need to meditate, hydrate. You need to go within, because someone here, some of you guys have a lot of hidden gifts, meaning like right now you're being awakened to it. Your ancestors, God, the universe is awakening you, is showing you who you are step by step. Some of you guys have been on this journey for like at least three years here. Some of you guys is two. Some of you guys is one. Some of you guys is six months. But this is somebody here that's very gifted. And you thought the powers that were shown to you right now, it's all you have. But no, Spirit is saying someone here has a hidden power. And I feel like for some, it has to do with levitation. Somebody is being um, encouraged to record their music and put it out there. Okay, somebody needs to record their music and put it out there because this is a gift that you have. <laughs> this is part of your anointing. And this is... Um, this is your, your destiny and people are going to have to watch and listen to you. You know what I mean? And you were hidden. People didn't know this magical musical gift that you had or whatever this gift may be. It was hidden. Okay. Oh, okay. The next one says, Oh, exactly. Dude, I can't even make it up. Do you guys, can you guys read that? Literally says, remember who you are in a dream, okay? So some of you guys are, like I said, you're going through a spiritual awakening or you did, okay? You already know. Some of you guys are awakening to this. So take what resonates. But Spirit is saying, you are remembering who you are. You are remembering who you are in a past life. You are remembering all these gifts that you've carried from your lineage, your ancestry, all these gifts that God has given you, Okay? Um, so yeah, I'm getting like, you're remembering, you're, you're, you're realizing that this is a matrix. Yeah. And you're waking up. Somebody here is waking up to this reality. They're realizing that this is a freaking matrix. Okay. Cause it is. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Walter, for your donation. And thank you, Sandy. Thank you so much, Sandy. Okay. So. Let's see what else, okay? If you would like to support my channel and help out, okay, you can give this video a thumbs up or share it on your Facebook, Instagram, whatever. 
Um, it would really help me, my channel, but most importantly, it would help get this message through. This is such a divine message, um, which kind of surprised me with all these kind of readings I've been getting. I've been getting so many downloads about enemies and such. I'm just like, oh, fed up with it already. I wanted something new. I want a spirit to give me something new. Um, so someone here is being encouraged to research what sparks their thoughts. There's some ideas that you're getting. These are downloads and messages from spirit, from God, from the universe, okay? There's something that you're getting in your dreams, your downloads, or maybe you're just daydreaming throughout the day and you're getting some type of idea. Go with that idea, do some research, whatever, okay? I also just heard follow your gut. So yeah, the universe is working behind the scenes for you. This is what you haven't known. God has been working behind the scenes this entire time. God has been working behind the scenes this entire time. God has been listening to private conversations that people have held about you, good and bad, okay? It's not just all bad. But we're speaking here about the ones that did um, trash your name, speak bad about you, spread bad rumors about you. God watched this with their, his own eyes. He heard it. And so now it's like, just be patient, okay? Because the universe is working with you, not against you. Behind the scenes, there's something happening here, okay? Something good. Good, good. I'm also hearing like, because if you don't know, now you know, you know? I wasn't going to say the next word, but... <laughs> It says, focus on your projects, YouTube channel. So some of you guys have a YouTube channel. Some of you guys are musicians. Other you guys are artists. You draw, you paint, you creators, okay? And we have creators here. You're very creative, right? Um, in whatever way that means to you. Some of you guys are chefs here. You create very healing food. Um, so you're focusing on your project. You're being encouraged to focus on your project. And this is what's happening, okay? As you're working on your project, behind the scenes, God is watching what's happening and stuff. Yeah, your spirit guides are guiding you here. Anything else before we move on? Some of you guys, um, you have to spend, uh, you have to save your money. Okay, others of you are going to be spending a lot more money because you're going to receive some type of abundance. So congrats. All right. But like people thought that you were a common person though. Can we talk about that? <laughs> people literally thought that you were just a normal civilian walking by when you're actually an earth angel. So, you know, this is people that see you and judge you by a book, right? They judge you a book by its cover. They look at you and they think, oh, this girl, this boy, he's not powerful. Who do they think they are, right? She thinks he all that. He, She thinks she all that. When the truth is, and you know the truth, God knows the truth, they know the truth, that you're clairvoyant, that you're powerful, you're gifted, you're intuitive here, you're psychic. Thank you, Cheryl, for your donation. So, you know, it's just like they underestimated you. They didn't know who you were and they mistreated you. That's why they mistreated you. They abused you. They lied on you. They hit you. They snitched on you. They ridiculed you. They didn't believe in you. Take however it resonates, but this happened because they didn't know who the hell you were. Some of you guys have the gift of premonition here, all right? And you get downloads in your dreams. All right, let's move on to, let me just drink some tea, all right? To clear my throat. Hold on, I'm gonna use my selenite here to just kind of, Okay, <laughs> I just like to do Reiki healing on anything I eat or drink, all right? So you are a Reiki healer, you are a healer, you heal people, right? All right, so Spirit is guiding me to use the angels therapy and then we'll get into some tarot. But yeah, you're profoundly clairvoyant here, right? Tyree Shaw, thank you so much for your donation, love. 
Many blessings to you guys. Okay. So let's get to the tea, right? We we need the tea, don't we? Don't we? <laughs> we have 500 people in the house. Beautiful. Let's get them lights up, guys. Let's be beings of light here. Ooh, twin flame. Some of you guys here have a twin flame connection, okay? For some of you, your own twin flame could have doubted you. Gabrielle, thank you so much, my love, for your donation. Angelica, thank you so much for your donation. Many blessings to you, ladies. So somebody here got a twin flame, all right? Um, let's see why that matters. Some of you guys, I don't know. Yeah, you have a powerful throat chakra. Okay, like I said, something about the way you communicate with people. You chosen. Look, oh my gosh, guys, look at the first card out. Let's chill, all right? Let's just chill. We got goddess. And what was the first card I pulled from my own deck? You have blood of a goddess in you, right? This is just a confirmation. You're a goddess, divine feminine energy here, okay? You could be male or female. This is just energy. <laughs> I always have to make that clear. Um, but anyways, you're so freaking divine. Your energy is divine. You're, you're magical. Um, anything you touch grows. Anything you touch really um, kind of turns to gold here, like that phrase goes. Um, yeah, some of you guys here are earth angels. There's a lot of wings. You could be an air sign. You're highly, highly intuitive. You love people. You're an empath. You're you love people, right? Like you care about them. You you feel them. Thank you, Alba, for your donation. La Pacera. Thank you so much for your donation. So yeah, you you divine. You chosen. You a goddess. God chose you. Yeah, God chose you to be a public speaker. Okay. Some of you guys, um, you hold workshops, seminars, your teachers, okay? Or this is part of your life purpose if you're not doing this right now. But yeah, look at you. You have these wings and you're lecturing people. You're like Jesus sitting by the mountains with your disciples, okay? So you're a natural born leader here. You were chosen for your people. There's some type of destiny you have here, okay? We'll look more into it. We have emotional sensitivity to me, this is just empath energy, right? When you are an emotional, sensitive person, it says honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all, right? So your healing, your empathy, your nurturing, your caring that, you know, your caring, your kindness that you have for people, this is a gift. And because it says honor and respect, I feel that the people around you never honored your sensitivity. They never honored your empathy, your kindness. They took it for granted. When you gave them free advice, they took it for granted. You had to learn these lessons. And you were around, somebody here is around or was around very toxic individuals, family, friends, co-workers, partners, okay? Very toxic that you can feel their toxicity. They were blocking your blessing, basically. Um... And some of you guys are awakening to this gift of empathy. Look, ascended masters. Dude, I can't make it up, all right? Listen, we got ascended masters on the bottom of the deck. Who do you see there? Do you guys not see Jesus there? I literally just said Jesus. We have all the ascended masters here. We have Buddha. We have all religions here, okay? Some of these people I can't name right now. <laughs> but, you know, we have Indian cultures, all type of culture, Asia, okay? All types of culture, Christianity, we have all types here, okay? You're working with ascended masters. Nobody can fuck with you. Nobody can tap into this energy, all right? Because you're actually the enlightened one. I just heard the enlightened one. So you enlighten people. You're working with ascended masters in a in a in this spiritual journey because you're very spiritual. You're very wise. You were okay. Some of you guys have destinies here to literally be spiritual teachers. I'm getting Jesus energy here. You're powerful, you're loving, and wise. Yes, and look what I told you. Look what this says on the bottom. Powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over you and guiding you. All of these spiritual teachers are watching over you and guiding you. And what did I just say? God is watching over you. He's watching what's being done to you. At this point, God is sending angels and his ascended masters here, okay, to come and help you and assist you, okay? They've been watching over you. Somebody's like... God is really protective over you. Like you're highly anointed. Okay. You're highly favored. Thank you. Eight moon. 
for your donation, eight son, eight. <laughs> okay, thank you, Amani, for your donation. Thank you, um, Exaveria, for your donation. Many love. Thank you, Y B uh, Blizzle. <laughs> I hope I said that right, guys. Okay. Many blessings to you guys. Crown chakra. And did you guys see the um the thumbnail of this video? It's a crown, right? Oh, and look what we have on the bottom. Earth angel. Shit, you can't make it up. Look, earth angel and crown chakra. You are very powerful. You got a lot of downloads from spirit. Okay, we have 616 people watching and 444 likes. Okay. Let's get them likes up, guys. Hit that thumb like. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Okay, so you know when I'm coming live next if you're new all right because um i'm pretty dope energy for those that resonate i know not everybody's gonna like me i'm not here for people to like me or uh you know i'm just here to be myself and whatever energy i draw of divinity that wants to be part of my tribe my crew my membership then thank you for accepting me for who i am she's magical tarot thank you for your donation So, yeah, you are wearing the crown, okay? You were crowned here. You're an earth angel that's crowned. God crowned you. You're royalty, right? You're wearing the crown. You're royalty. God has crowned you here with divine guidance, with divine ideas. So anything that you create here comes from the divine, okay? You have a lot of angelic energy around you. You're a light worker. Um, yeah, I'm getting like your royalty, you could have been an ascended master in a past life, to be honest. But I, this is literally to clarify that you are the earth angel. It came out. Cut the cords, okay? See, that's why I just said God is removing you from these negative entities the whole time because you have to cut the cords in order for you to ascend. The whole time, if you ever stop talking to somebody, if you cut people out of your life, you were guided by ascended masters here, okay? You were guided by spiritual teachers watching over you in the heavens. They advise you to cut the cords. Archangel Michael helped you cut the cords, okay, and eliminate this individual. Keo, Keanu Grace, thank you so much for your donation. Many blessings to you. If this message is resonating with you, don't forget to um, give it a uh, thumbs up, okay? Thank you, guys. All right, Peyton Lay. Thank you so much for your donation, Peyton. All right, let's see what else we have here. All right, I'm going to go into the tarot. Wow, bottom of the deck, we have judgment, okay? I'm hearing judgment day is coming for those that made fun of you. Judgment day is coming for those that didn't believe in you. Judgment day is coming for those that belittled you, ridiculed, insulted you, hit you, abused you, took advantage of you. Try to dim your lights. Yeah, you could be a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You're very attractive, very alluring, very spontaneous, very creative. Judgment freaking day is coming upon these people. Some of you guys, it's a group of friends, okay? You were guided to move away from a group of friends. Shit. <laughs> All right, let's see, Spirit. Tell me more about this um, this earth angel, who, this anointed earth angel who was hidden in plain sight. Exactly. Look, Ten of Swords. Wow. With the nine of cups wow so you're getting some type of treasure here if you guys notice she's jumping there's this treasure box here i feel like you found the treasure which is you you realize that you're the treasure some of you guys are reiki healers here you could have a lot you could have sound bowls like me or many different sound bowls okay um oof. so i'm getting a lot of downloads here there was a betrayal you had to you had to cut the cords with somebody from the past here that hurt you really bad right ten of swords somebody really backstabbed you betrayed you or many people okay i heard cloud their judgment somebody here clouded their judgment about you thank you house simon or simon for your donation many blessings to you love um, but now you're getting some type of treasure wish fulfillment here. You realize you're the treasure. You realize your um, spiritual gifts, your spiritual treasure. But I also feel like you're getting a wish fulfillment as you became aware of, of your power, of your voice, okay, of the power of your sensitivity. I feel like 
you feel other people's energy. You feel other people's emotion. You can tell immediately. You're like a hater radar. You uh, ra uh, What's that called? I don't know. But you literally can sense your haters. You can tell who's good, who's bad. Once you're around this energy, you can tell who is, who is um, against you, okay? Because you're highly sensitive. You can pick up on toxic energy as well. Thank you, Monique, for your donation. Many blessings to you, right? So the Ten of Swords, you were left stranded, okay? Alone, betrayed, backstabbed. But now I see you jumping. You're stepping into, yeah, Five of Swords. Somebody here definitely jealous, envious, manipulative, deceitful, competitive. This was the energy you were around. Narcissistical people. Divine made love. Thank you so much for your donation. Five of Swords, right? Look at all those crows. You could be seeing a lot of crows. Somebody could have tried to um, manipulate you, right? Whisper in your ear negative things. Try to belittle you. You could be a water sign. There, somebody was messing with your emotions and your mental health, and you had to cut the cords with this person. You're about to celebrate something, though. I see you're very happy here. You're jumping. You feel liberated. I feel like you feel freedom after something ended. You felt free. You felt liberated. You felt like there was no more burdens anymore, okay? Okay? God has freed you from something or is about to free you from something. Because look, there was blood. I heard blood had to be shed. Somebody wanted to sacrifice you or they hurt you. They backstabbed you or um, <coughs> this could have been friends or family members. People here that, like I said, they're jealous copying you. Somebody wanted to be you, but instead they couldn't. So they wanted to manipulate the situation. This is point blank jealousy. Like I said, God was seeing all this gossip that was said about you. Somebody was gossiping about you to people to take advantage of something, to take advantage of something that you have. Tell me more, spirit. Whew. Capricorn energy, the devil falling right under the Ten of Swords. Jesus, this is deep. This is deep. This is high manipulation, toxicity, narcissism. Ooh, we have 749 people over here. 582 likes. Let's show some more support here, guys, to this channel, okay? As I'm delivering powerful messages here. Thank you so much for your donations, for your likes. Um, if this message resonates with you, give it a thumbs up. So, okay, some of you guys need to buy an amethyst. I just heard that. Something with the color purple. So you are royalty here, but some of you guys need to get an amethyst or currently you're working with the um, an amethyst crystal or you could already be wearing one, okay? Because she's holding an amethyst here. So amethysts do speak of um, third eye, okay? Third eye activation, awakening, as well as um, protection. So you needed protection. You were under some type of spell or manipulation this whole time. This person, this devil was manipulating you whispering things in your ears to make you feel like you were crazy some of you guys could have literally excuse me felt like you were losing your mind at some point because you were being spiritually attacked so much with the fool falling under the nine of cups spirit guided you to release something and start from the beginning start from zero i feel like you left your old life you left everything behind somebody here left everything and was just literally like i'm starting from zero i want to start fresh okay i'm going through my wish fulfillment Trinita L. Williams, welcome to becoming a magician, love. All right, welcome in. Um, and then we have the Three of Cups. So this is a crowd of people. These were your friends. This fell right under the, the Five of Swords. These were your friends, okay? Your friends were envious of you. Your friends were manipulating you. Your friends were copying you. Your friends were secretly competing with you. And maybe that's why they're not texting you right now. And you're like, wait, how come they don't reach out to me no more? They're jealous of you. God was seeing that they were gossiping your own friends, your own sisters here, your own sisterhood, your own little tribe. With the devil, it gives me so much toxicity, narcissism, but also whew, just somebody literally that wanted to manipulate you, but you free yourself or you're about to, but you need to take a leap of faith or you already did. Yeah, I feel like you did, all right? Somebody free themselves here. 
they started to see, you started to see synchronicities. You started to learn about the flower of life and the, and spirituality. You started to look up crystals, angel numbers. Okay. You started to realize that everything, um, is connected. And Nikki Williams, thank you so much for your donation. Daddy, thank you so much for your donation, love. Fedora. Oshun, thank you so much for your donation as well. Imani, thank you for your donation as well, my love. Many blessings to you guys. Okay, so let's continue because, oof, look, seven, oof, seven of pentacles, somebody, see, I'm telling you, you were growing something, you were investing in something, but it wasn't growing at that time because you were around devils, devilistic energy, you were around toxic individuals that were draining your energy, somebody here was draining the life out of you, the life out of your ideas, your energy, your life, your mental health. Okay, I heard prison. It literally felt like a prison. This could have been a toxic masculine or a feminine, whatever. This could be a group of people with the three of cups. This is your clique, right? I'm hearing that song, No New Friends by Drake. Look, seven of pentacles. See what you were growing. Remember I said um, God wanted to remove you from those rotten apples so that you don't grow rotten? See, you were growing something. With these roots, you were planting your seeds, but it wasn't growing. Every time you made money, it wasn't growing because you were just around the whole the wrong crowd. Some of you guys were around the wrong crowd. You fell into manipulation. You fell under temptation. It's what I heard. Okay. You fell under some type of temptation. You were led somewhere. You were following people. You weren't leading your life, but your ascended masters guided you to your true soul tribe, or they're guiding you right now. We have the four of wands. Okay, so yeah, you see how this person is giving some type of Reiki healing to this roots? See, something about your hands here. You're a Reiki healer or like you give um your energy. Somebody, you were giving, yeah, okay. So you were investing your energy in the wrong things with the wrong people. I'm also getting somebody here, whoever this person or people were, they were doing root work on you. Black magic root work, Okay. That's why your shit wasn't growing. That's why your money wasn't growing. I'm also hearing like they were waiting for their spells to work. Look, justice. Woo, Libra. Ooh. Ooh, this message got me right now. We got justice. See, the scales are being balanced. As above, so below, right? So I see you starting new. Some of you guys, this was family, okay? Ten of Pentacles. This was your own family. We have the six of wands that wants to come out. So you're getting victory. You're the, you're going to, you always win. Okay. You're always going to win. But look at this victorious person right now. Some of you guys are on the spotlight already, or you're meant to be on the stage, on the spotlight. You're meant to be celebrated. All right. We have the three of cups. Some of you guys are already being celebrated or you're about to be. There's success that is in your path and that's your justice. This, you've been working on this. You've been putting in the energy. Even while you were around a toxic environment, you stayed focused. You remained faithful to this dream of yours. You're about to accomplish something if you're not doing so already. This is part of your justice. I'm also getting if somebody here has a court issue, ugh, you're going to win, okay? You're going to win this case. There's a lot of rewards for being obedient is what I'm also getting. Yeah, it's like... You are working with Ascended Masters to do something for the mass. You're doing something for the mass here. This isn't something just for, for a small community or just for yourself. There's a lot of people here. Millions. So you could be a public speaker here that's meant to give some type of knowledge here to the world. Because we already have workshops and seminars. Right? getting hot in here so yeah the eight of cups you were instructed to walk away and you went to find your happiness you went to find your destiny you were instructed to do it you felt alone 
you felt like maybe you couldn't do it, but you believed that God was going to help you. Okay. You believed in your path. You believe in your dream. You walked away. You went towards your wish fulfillment. You could be an earth sign here, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. The emperor. Okay. We have Aries energy. You are anointed here. You are the authority. You have authority over others. When you speak, you are a natural born leader. You are a boss. You're elevating here. Some of you guys are in your masculine energy. You're working on your projects. You're taking action. You're making moves. Okay? For some of you, I'm hearing you could have had a toxic father or a toxic divine, I mean, a toxic masculine here who was abusive, manipulative. This person, you could have been in an abusive, toxic relationship. This person liked to boss you around. But yeah, either way, I'm just getting like, you're the you're on that emperor energy right now. We already have the goddess, right? That's the divine feminine and the emperor. So you're very you're very balanced. We have the ace of wands. Okay, so yeah, you're anointed. The ace of wands, you anointed. You're highly freaking creative. The wheel of destiny here, Sagittarius, Cancer, the chariot. You're moving forward towards success here. Look, you were always guided by divine beings. Period. Some of you guys are really starting something new here. The wheel of fortune is shifting. So whatever the enemies did is going back to them, right? What goes around comes back around, whatever. Um, so you're about to have a lucky break. Somebody's about to celebrate or be celebrated by your community, by the world. You're about to have recognition, success, victory. Okay. We have the wheel of fortune. This is your destiny. Like I said, you have been hidden in plain sight. Nobody knew that your talent was supposed to be seen by the world. Nobody knew because you were not on the spotlight. But you see these spotlights? The spotlight is about to be on you. How else do I say this, guys? The spotlight is going to be on you now. You're on fire. You've been enlightened. You're moving with passion. And now it's like, it's like this fire that can't be stopped. Okay, you're just going. And you just keep on going. The wheel is just moving in your favor. Okay, you're moving. <laughs> all right um you're above the rest right now you're standing tall above the rest okay and i'm feeling like you're, you're feeling very balanced which is even more amazing right thank you so much quartus for your donation many blessings to you okay we have 920 people here beautiful um, so yeah, let's clarify the six of wands. Cause like I said, God hit you in plain sight, but you about to literally something fast, something. Whew, literally you have people idolizing you here because of some sort of talent or gift that you have. And that's because of that ace of wands. If you notice that ace of wands is right here. So something about your fire, something about your creativity, your passion, your desire, something that you desire. Tequila, the star, welcome, my love, to becoming a magician. Don't forget to like this video, guys. Share it. Like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, okay? So, yeah, for some of you guys, this was the own people that you were working with, okay? Yeah, somebody was competing with you at work, in your career, Oh, I'm also getting here. Somebody was collaborating to see. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of rivalry. There's a lot of jealousy. Somebody trying to do anything to get to the top. Somebody wanted this fire that you have. Okay. I feel like you were on fire. You're on fire. Somebody wanted to take this creativity. They wanted to dominate you. They wanted to fight for this throne, right? To climb up these ladders and they all fail. They all fail. Five, five, five. Karmic energy change. Okay. We have the three of pentacles. So even with them collaborating against you, doing shit behind your back with the moon, still you rise. Still you won. Divine, divine, thank you so much for your donation. So your enemies were working together to do something here. A lot of jealous and envy here. What the hell?
Yeah, you had to heal. Spirit pushed you away from these people so you could heal. Yeah, the magician. See, some of you guys were under some type of spell. You were procrastinating on this project. You felt confused. You felt lost. And the snake was guiding you. You were guided by a snake this entire time. They were confusing you with all these options. They wanted to derail you from your destiny. Right? Magician, Gemini energy. Somebody in the dark arts here. Manipulating you with the snake. Tempting you. Take what resonates, okay? But this was somebody that was like whispering negative things in your ears. Because they wanted to manipulate you. They wanted to stop your ascension. Whether it was spiritual, okay? Or status. Thank you, Eva Cotton, for your donation. But they failed, all right? You're the true magician here. And you got options. The tower. Whatever they did to you, it backfired. And that cycle is closed, says spirit, okay? That cycle is complete. Trinity Gates, welcome to becoming a magician, love. Welcome to the tribe. We have the world here. You ascend it. Yes, still I rise. Exactly. Thank you, Lotus. I'm always channeling um, Maya Angelou when I do this kind of readings. Plus, I personally love Maya Angelou and I personally write poetry as well. So, Eight of Wands, okay? Yeah, your enemies were just constantly throwing things at you, throwing negative energies at you. I really see something speeding up for you, something with your success. You're going to get some type of message here. Wow. Oof, I love this reading. Like, look, I just said this. It's like the words are coming right out of my mouth. Eight of Wands. There's like a shooting star here moving faster than the speed of light. You see the star with the eight of wands. These are shooting stars. A lot of wishes that are a lot of wishes are coming true as you're elevating, as you're ascending to your true purpose. God is lifting you. God is elevating you now. He's taking you out from these dark caves. You're about to be seen. Okay. You're about to be a star. Some of you guys already are, and you're just going to get more subscribers. Okay. More people on your platform. Whatever this is, more customer, uh, customers, more clients, okay? Thank you so much, Magical Minister. For your donation, okay? Thank you, I am Dan, for your donation. Many blessings to you guys. With the tower, their, <laughs> their spells backfired a lot. They wanted to destroy you, cause havoc in your life, but it just went back to them. And I felt like it was shocking. It was so shocking when God exposed to your enemies who you were. God already did, or God is about to. They're about to be in shock, okay? Unexpectedly, it's like, wait, what? But he or she was just a poor little person on the block, or this person never had these gifts, okay? You were hidden, but now you're about to shine bright, and you're about to be exposed in the public eye here. There's a wish coming, and listen, this is because you're meant to speak to the masses. You're meant to be seen by the masses here. Okay? And now something's taking off very fast. You're going to receive a lot more messages, offers, something like that. Yeah, you're very, very spiritual. Very, You always prayed here. It's like this is a wish that you prayed for. You see how there's a string? This is your destiny. What this string is telling me, like, you were attached to this destiny. You always knew who you were. You kept your authenticity. You didn't change. No matter what tried to change you around. You see this big star? You're meant to birth something truly divine, whoever you are. Okay? You're birthing something truly divine that has to do with lights. It's like they're putting you on the spotlight now after you were hidden for so long. So, wow. You know, that's really um, very enlightening. Latisha, thank you so much for your donation, love. Rita, thank you for your donation as well. Dwelling Place, thank you, love, as well. Quartus, <clears throat> thank you for your donation. Okay. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> let's see what else bottom of the deck the world some of you guys could be traveling here okay relocated seven of wands see they look these enemies look they constantly 
threw shit at you, spoke bad about you, right? Brought and it black um brought drama to your life, wanted to fight you physically or spiritually attacking you. But you were put in this little bubble here by the universe, very, very safe. This whole time, nothing they did touched you. Because you're safe and protected. You in alignment. You're in alignment with your. I'm hearing the stars are about to align. Yeah. The stars are aligning. This is the Aquarius season. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Clarify the six of wands. Yeah, look. We have the Knight of Pentacles. See? They try to slow this down for you. But I feel like no matter... No matter... Yeah, you're an earth angel here. So, I'm getting like... Thank you, Tanya, for your donation. Tanya Marie. Um, the Knight of Pentacles gives me different energy right now. I'm really getting like, you're taking everything that happened to you in the past and you're taking it with you to this new future. Everything that you learned from the past, all the pain, all the struggle, you're taking it with you. And I feel like you took your time. You took your time in your healing. You took your time on this project. You took your time in your ascension. You waited patiently. And that's why this is going to be very stable when it comes in for you. Thank you, Trinity Gates. Literally, this is going to come in very stable. This is very promising. Okay? Earth energy. And something about barefoot. Okay? I don't know what that's about. Maybe you like to walk barefoot. Or maybe Spirit is suggesting that you walk barefoot. But walking barefoot gives me like humble, right? Like I feel like you're very humble. You don't really care about the next sneakers or what's hot. You dress different. You act different. All right. You're very highly spiritual. Some of you guys could have a horse as an animal spirit or actually have a horse depending on where you live. Thank you, Michelle, for your donation, my love. Many, many blessings to you. Wow. We have a thousand people in the house with 36 and 868 likes. Can we get them likes up, guys? Can you can you help out a girl out here? You know, I'm trying to live my destiny too. So I would highly appreciate it if you help me during my ascension, during my things too. And I know that God in the universe is going to put those people in my life that really resonate with me. Okay? Because, again, you're a star. So you know who you are. If this message is for you, clearly it's not going to be for everybody since... Some people are not resonating with it, you know? So <laughs> I'm going to be done with tarot. Now let's move on. Okay, I'm going to use the witch's oracle. Okay. Yeah, some of you guys are high priestesses here, okay? You high priestess. You're high priests. All right, ancestor spirit guides. Yeah, I feel like you stood your ground. You fought for this. Whatever's coming for you, you fought for this. No matter how slow, you you took things slow. You took your time. It was slow and steady, but you still took pro um progress. There was you still made progress. I'm also hearing for some of you guys here, you need to take any type of steps, any baby steps. Anything will help to get you to the star six of wands here. Someone here is supposed to be on the stage performing, okay? You're meant to be on the stage, lecturing, performing, whatever. We have Hex. Exactly, dude. I just told you this. Look. Look at the first card out. It's Hex. I have to take a deep breath. Hex. You see this person pointing a finger on you? Somebody judged you. They pointed a finger at you. They blamed you for things that was not you. They held you responsible for things that was not you. Somebody hexed you. God saw somebody put a hex on you. All right? But the universe banished it. Be one with God. Thank you so much for your donation. So, yeah, it felt right under the magicians, though. I'm not even going to front. So, somebody put a hex on you, whoever you are. So... Thank you, Whispers of Taboo. Many blessings to you as well. Let's see. Spirit, what's this hex?
spell. Dude, can't make it up. Somebody put a hex and a spell on you here. All right? They could have written this down. They could have used words against you. They were manifesting terrible things in your life with the devil energy. Somebody here. Yeah, this could have been more than one person, depending on your story. Welcome in, everybody that just joined. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video if it resonates. We have candles, okay? These people were doing candle magic, all right? They were lighting candles on your name, doing spells, conjuring, just working with the devil, working with negative energy. As Obviously, you're the star, see, you're the chosen one, right? The star, you're the anointed one. You're the one that's blessed. But they didn't know this. These people thought that they were blessed, that they were the stars, and now they're about to see who the fuck it is. Who is the anointed one? You. Period. They were lighting candles here. All types of candles. Look, altar. Right? Offering, making offerings to, to different deities here to hex you. Spirit. Yeah, conjuring spirits here. All right? Initiating spirits. Contacting spirits to attack you. To stop you. Death. Death spells. You're a high priestess here. You're very intuitive. Spirit told you something. Spirit gave you the download. A high priestess could have given you another. You could have watched another video similar to this. But look, death. Somebody like literally was doing death spells on you. They wanted to take you out. We also have kitchen magic here, which is a video I just did. If you guys want to go check it out, there's a video called um, Kitchen Magic that I just did a couple days ago. Check it out, okay? Because somebody here, like I said in the beginning, they could have been um messing with your tea your food your drinks okay somebody here really wished your death they were doing spells hexes candles anything working with the elements to bring you death or they wanted to end something in your life if it wasn't death to you then it was to end something in your life yeah ritual though look ritual invocation nah this was death ritual yeah and this was a group of people. You see all these witches here? This was a group because we already have the three of cups, which gives me a crowd, right? So, yeah, they were evoking a spirit here. Somebody was evoking some type of spirit. Yeah, some type of dark entity to hex you. Yeah, I told you, look. Herbal kitchen. What did I just say? I'm telling you guys, check the video out. I feel like all the videos I've made lately, they all connect. They're all like one story. So, you know, thank you so much, Victoria, for your donation. And Rita. So, yeah, kitchen magic. Somebody here was doing alchemy with food. Haha, <laughs> we have feminine lady goddess. Exactly, because you're a goddess. See, we have it twice here. You're a divine feminine. You're the goddess. You have God, uh, goddess blood in you. What did I just say? You carry the blood of a goddess and nobody knew how anointed you were. Okay. They're about to find out though. <laughs> Shuck, man. We have air. You could be an air sign here. Something about your imagination. Okay, you're very creative. Toussaint Thompson, thank you so much for your donation. Many blessings. Yeah, spirit, God was guiding you to, to set boundaries with these people. And prosperity is coming now. Because you were obedient... You removed your energy. We have one, 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 one in the house. Amen. We have beautiful. We have prosperity. Okay. So you're about to go into prosperity. Like I said, your wish is coming true. You're about to get some type of victory, success, recognition, clout here. Okay. Clout. Um, this was concealed though. You were cloaked. You were concealed. You were cloaked. You were hidden. And it's not like you were hidden in a cave and nobody heard about you. You were hidden in plain sight. You were hidden amongst your enemies. 
But they underestimated you. They didn't see who the hell you were. And now you're about to get prosperity here. Empress energy. Goddess energy. None of their rituals work. None of their hexes work. Whatever they did is broken. I feel like some of you guys, you spoke something into existence here. And that's how you broke this curse. You spoke life into your own life. You spoke something into existence here. All right. You're about to step into prosperity. But yeah, look, you were the one that was cloaked. I love this card. I'm going to keep it aside here. You were concealed. You were cloaked. And your magic was. Your gift was cloaked. Okay. That's what I mean by you being concealed. Your gift was being concealed. Right. Your magic. Your true power. Your destiny, your anoint, your anointing, that was concealed, okay? Let me write that down. Your anointing. Oof. So, yeah. Your anointed was concealed, okay? It was concealed. It was not time for them to know who you were. God had to test. God had to see. And God wanted you to see, okay? You know, because look, we had the cauldron, all right? They were definitely doing spell work here. Yeah. But you're going through some type of rebirth, though. And Spirit is saying you're secure. You're safe, okay? Your house is safe. You're safe. Um. Yeah. All right, let's see where your angels... Okay, hold on. Before I go in there, I'm going to clarify this prosperity. Spirit, clarify prosperity for my collective here. Look, I told you, you're the truth. You're the truth. You speak the truth. The truth is about to be revealed. The truth is about to be exposed. People are about to see the truth of who you really are. They're about to see who you really are. You understand? And who you always were. The truth. The truth is you're getting prosperity here. They're about to see you win. They're about to see you get your willpower back. They're about to see you. They're about to see the truth. Point blank, period. It was concealed, but now no more. This is the time for um, exposure. This is the time. This is the time to be seen. And oh my goodness, this card just fell on the floor. Thank you, Spirit. Yo, Spirit is speaking, guys. Let, all right, let's thank Spirit for these messages, please. All right. <clears throat> if you like this video, we can definitely... Um, this is also how we can help Spirit. Mm -hmm. Spreading the freaking message, right? So, prosperity and prosperity is here twice. Right? You're about to step into prosperity right now. This is your justice. You're about to make a lot of money, a lot of wealth. And remember, prosperity isn't just money. Prosperity comes in many different forms. So you're going to get tons of success, tons of attention, tons of recognition. You're going to get wish fulfillment, right? You're going to find your soul family. Your career is about to ch change. Or for some of you, your career is about to take off. There's a talent that you have in your career. You're about to be seen, right? You're about to be on the spotlight. All eyes on you, Tupac. All eyes on you. You have a talent. You have a gift. It has to do with your career life purpose. This is because you left the people that you had to leave, okay? The places, the things, the actions that you had to leave. Now, with the prosperity, clarify by prosperity. That's sick, right? Prosperity, clarify by prosperity. Like, that's it. Money's about to fall into your lap. As you're working on this, right? This is something that you're doing in the public eye. You could be in the public eye right now, or this is what you're stepping into. Clarify prosperity here. <clears throat> yeah, you're going through some sort of transformation where you're reconciling with who you are. You're reconciling with the old you from a past life. Thank you, um, Jolly, Jolie C, for your donation. We have a spirit guide coming through. Your ancestors and spirit guides, they're telling you, listen, we're working behind the scenes. They're about to see you be blessed. They're about to see you be wealthy. 
they underestimated you and now you're the one that's going to bring home the bacon you're the one that's going to bring the success in your family you're the first to be the first millionaire here okay you're about to be um <clears throat> get receiving a lot of collaborations because you're stepping into happiness you know who you are your spirit guides are guiding you to do something listen to them there is going to bring you prosperity, whatever this idea or project is. Yeah, because you empower people, you empower women, you empower men, okay? You're about to feel empowered like a goddess, like the goddess that you are. You're being reminded of this so you can feel empowered. Yeah, strength, Leo energy. And again, you're highly psychic here. Someone here is a psychic, all right? But look, strength. You have the strength that is needed. You have the strength. You're the anointed one. That's why people thought that when they betrayed you or hurt you, that that was the end of you. But no matter what spells, no matter what curse, no matter what hex, no matter what words, no matter how much they beat you down, you still rise. You still on top. You have, I'm hearing you have some type of phenomenal strength. Like you have a very powerful strength. No one like you got this strength. You've been through so much. It's like you've gone to some sort of spiritual death and just literally rised up again, resurrected. Okay. It's what I'm getting. Robin's Realm Readings. Welcome to becoming a magician, love. Thank you, Toussaint Thompson, for your donation as well. So, yeah, your spirit guides are giving you the strength as well as what I'm getting. Also, if some of you guys may feel a bit intimidated by the spotlight, right? Spirit is saying you have the strength. You are the voice of the people. Someone here is the voice of the people. Okay. You are a healer. You empower people. You give them strength. All right. Any last messages here for the collective? Oof. I can't even make this up. Who are you? All right, listen, look at the first car that came out just to clarify everything I've been saying. All right, let's get them likes up, guys. Thank you so much. We have Archangel Charity. Give with an open heart and be generous. You're about to literally have so much prosperity, so much money that you're going to give back to charity. You're going to give back to your family, your community, whoever, excuse me, whoever was there for you. Do you see this basket? Look how much money and look how much money is coming out. Look how much coin. It's like you're pouring money. Money's pouring out of the sky for you, okay? You literally have a, a, a money tree here, all right? Be charitable. You guys do offer some type of service here. You're very generous, generous with your community. You're very generous with your light and your love. But I'm getting like some of you guys are literally, okay, I'm seeing your solar plexus activate like crazy, Okay, this is faded. Okay, something here is faded. This is your destiny because I get this string. This is like the string of fate. This was always a part of you. You could never let it go. You never let it go. You always kept your hopes up. You always kept your hopes on this dream, on this vision. You had faith in yourself and in who you are. You have faith in God. You never gave up. Thank you so much, Laura, for your donation. Many blessings to you. Let's see. What else here for this anointed soul? Yes, yeah, Seraphim. I was just going to say that. You're an ambassador of earth. Okay? Build your bridge to source. Exactly. You have. You are the bridge to source. You are the medium here. Look, she's wearing an ankh. So you have ancient Egyptian blood here. You are an ambassador of the universe. Look at all these wings. You're highly divine, highly angelic, highly anointed. Very powerful person that I'm speaking to right now. Like anything you create is, it's abundant, you know? You have a very beautiful heart. We have Archangel Zariel and we have two wolves here. So you may have like wolf energy here. I'm also getting like, what's wolf? Wolf is leadership. A wolf is following your instincts, right? It says give and receive love, obey the spiritual laws. You give and you receive love. You're learning that because you were giving a lot of love, but it wasn't being reciprocated to you. Okay. Thank you so much, Cass Cass, for your donation, love. Many blessings to you. 
So, yeah, I'm getting light. Ooh, I love this card. This is the best card on this deck. It's called Cherubim. Look to the stars, right? Which you did, right? You did. <laughs> you look to the stars. Accept keys and codes of stellar wisdom. You guys get star um, messages, star and light messages here. You get codes and light messages from spirit. Stellar wisdom. You get your wisdom comes from the stars, right? Look at all these yellow solar plexus. Look at all these angels that protect you. Like you're so divine. Whatever your path is here is very important because it has to do with um having like a crowd, a lot of people that you're mentoring, guiding, healing, whatever. Um, And it's like you were giving so much to people. You were literally like charity. You were giving so much of your time and energy, but it was not reciprocated. And Archangel Zariel is working with you here to teach you how to give and receive. Just like I'm saying with this, with this um, channel. Right now I'm giving you this free reading, right? But I'm open to receiving. I can't just be here and give you and give you and not receive anything back. You want to know why? Because that wouldn't be me loving myself. That wouldn't be me loving God. God is give and receive. You inhale and you exhale. There's yin and there's yang. Right? Thank you so much, Pleiadian Starseed. So when we give, we receive. You know, and I felt like, you know, that's definitely something I like to teach in my channel. It's like, that's why I like to write you guys' names who donate. Because even though I'm already giving you a free reading and you're donating, I'm giving that energy back. And now I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to send you love. I'm going to send you light. I'm going to add you here to my ancestors to protect you as well. And it's like, you're learning the spiritual law. This is a spiritual law, guys. This is a spiritual law. This is a spiritual law. This is how it is. You give something, you receive. Now, don't give to receive, right? But it's just the law of life. When you give something, you'll always receive, right? So um, I know that I'm always going to receive, you know, for all that I'm doing here and giving as well. Anything else? Yeah, energy exchange. It's a give and take, okay? Okay. Wow. Wow. Who the hell are you? Wow. Gigi's Lightworking Oracle. Thank you so much for your donation. Goddess Freya, Andrea, thank you so much for your donation. See, we have goddesses in this chat and we have gods. But wow, I want to read this card, guys. This card never came out before. And it's even shocked me, all right? Because I shuffled this for myself, and this card never came out. I didn't even know it was here. It's called Archangel Rokiel. I hope I'm saying it right. It says, <clears throat> enter higher planetary service. Be a blazing light. And I just got a donation from a Pleiadian here. So that's what I'm also getting. Like, you're a Pleiadian. You're a star seed. Exactly. All that yellow is Oshun right now in the house. So I'm going to read that card, but I'm getting like, you're entering a higher planetary service. Yeah, you come from a planet of very high vibration. You come from a whole different lineage and planet here. Very unique, like very particular. It's like, it's like you're God's favorite or something. Not saying that God has any favorites, but God does favor certain individuals that he feels need to bring a very empowering message. That's why some of us are prophets, right? Some of us are teachers. Some of us are healers. Um, thank you, Carissa Hayden, for your donation. Many blessings to you. So, yeah, let's read that card because I'm already getting like you're entering a higher planetary service. Yeah, planetary service. Whoa. I'm getting like what you're doing is it's not just here on earth right it's like it's a higher planetary service the services that you offer here on earth are helping the galaxy something higher than this okay i okay this is crazy message i'm sorry if i'm like all over the place if this is resonating with you though don't forget to like share and subscribe guys i would really appreciate it if you really did this um <clears throat> let's see wow so yeah this is crazy oh my gosh i just opened the page to it okay I need to relax. I just opened the page to this card. 
Spirit is all over this. Spirit is all over this. Whew. Okay, this is, I'm, I'm just, I love when God does this, when Spirit does this. Like, guys, you have no idea how I feel on the other side of this video. But you could already kind of see, right? <laughs> God is good. Look at this. It opened right there. I was just about to tell you like, oof, this card doesn't have numbers. Um, thank you, Jess, for your donation. So let's see. Let me read it, okay? Okay. Archangel Rokiel is a strong and powerful universal angel of the rank of seraphim. Exactly. Guys, I don't know if you've already watched the video that I did that is called You Are Highly Ranked in Spirit. If you have not watched that video, it's called You Are Highly Ranked in the Spirit World. Please check it out after this live or whenever you have time this week if you have not watched it already. Some of you guys already did and um, you're just getting more confirmation. Cheryl Lopez, thank you so much for your donation. But please listen, this is getting so intense. You're basically like this archangel um, Rokiel. You're highly ranked is what I'm saying. Here. It's saying here, <laughs> it's a strong and powerful universal angel of the rank of the seraphim. We already have the seraphim. Spirit says you're an ambassador of the universe. So this is galactical life purpose here, truly. Um, he resides in the center of earth to help Mother Gaia. His color is black. His retreat is above Uluru, Australia, and oversees that continent. He is the twin flame of Archangel Jules, who is in change of the oceans, and they work together. They take the knowledge and wisdom you have stored in your Earth Star, right, and use it to enable you to make deeper connections with Lady Gaia. Some of you guys have this natural gift and connection. You could be an Earth sign with Gaia. You're an environmentalist. You love animals. You love Earth. You love the trees. You love the planet, and you're an activist towards this. You do some type of humanitarian work, or you're meant to. Thank you, Cece, for your donation. <clears throat> and then we have, <clears throat> so you could be from Orion, Sirius, Pleiadian, and Neptune. What did I just say? I just said Pleiadian. This literally says you could be from the planet of Orion, Sirius, the Pleiadians, or Neptune, right? Because we already have the star here. So you're a star seed. So take what resonates, okay? You would know what this, what, what, what you are. Yeah, I always hug the trees too, Yan. I always hug the trees. But anyways, it says this card calls you to a higher planetary service in a way that illuminates you as you serve. You're about to be illuminated. Remember I said you were hidden in plain sight? Well, you're about to be illuminated as you serve. This is something that you're serving. This is you're serving God. You're serving God's purpose and it's yours. And you're happy. This is something that's connected to your heart. You're not miserable doing, right? Because this is this is your mission. You're fulfilling your mission right now. Or you're about to, okay? Wow, this is so powerful. You have, you're a being of service. That's why it says charity. You give and you receive love, okay? If nobody is giving you energy, love, light, then you have to leave that energy because then you're not being true to yourself. Love is a dance. It's a give and a take. It's not just take, 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 and I won't accept anything. That's not God. Okay? God is love. Anyways, it suggests this card that you bring you bring light down through your 12 chakras and then mentally connect with Archangel Rokiel and send the energy through the ley lines. So you're working with this angel, all right? And you're sending energy through the ley lines. If you don't know what ley lines are in this world, Google them, okay? Um, I personally already know about this, you know, so um, go 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 check that out, right? The Pyramids of Gia is a ley line, right? Stonehenge is a ley line, things like that, right? Ancient places, you're, you're activating these, you're using your light codes, you're working with this angel for who's from a higher planetary of service. Then form bridges of light in the great pyramids of earth and the stars. It is important to make sure that you are grounded and receptive in this process for pure energy. It's now streaming back through you. So you see this energy right now? This angel's giving you this pure energy. So there's pure energy being given to you down to, to earth, right? 
And so this is activating you. It's remembering you who you are, your purpose, um, your light. It's making you more powerful, more enlightened. And it's definitely lighting you up, guys. Wow. This is lighting you up. Look at all that yellow. It's lighting you up. Look at all this yellow. You're about to be a beam of light. You're like a very powerful beam of light, like the sun, right? Like the sun, Leo, is very magnetic, right? Um. So, yeah, I'm just getting like definitely, definitely you're highly ranked in the spirit. Go check that out, okay? Whoever that is. Obviously, if you feel called to it, I can't demand you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> um. Yeah, we also have Archangel Mallory. It says, remember who you are. Take action when you're ready, okay? Stop being timid. Stop shrugging your shoulders. Stand up tall. This person right here is not standing up tall. You must remember who the hell you are. And I feel like you are. You're awakening to this. Take action when you're ready. Guess what? You're ready. Go ahead and take action. Sunshine, Jay, thank you so much for your donation. But go. Go take action, okay? You're highly supported right now. Divine crack, uh, grack, Grackle, thank you so much for your donation. Sending you love and light as well. Adela, thank you for your donation, my love. <clears throat> Hold on, I have some of you guys who's PayPal'd me too. Sharon, Sharon Jenkins, thank you so much for your donations. Remember who the hell you are. Look, Amethyst. What did I say in the beginning of this video? You need to work with the Amethyst, or some of you guys already are. It says Archangel Amethyst. Yeah, some of you guys are working with Archangel um, Amethyst. She's the one that's guiding you to take this leap of faith. It says puri purify your love with purify your life with love. Prepare for something better. Exactly. You're purifying yourself. You're detoxing your energy, mind, soul, and spirit because you're about to head into your destiny. You're about to go somewhere way up. I feel blessed. I live a life I deserve. Bless. Fuck a vacay. I feel better at work. Bless. You're ascending. Okay? You're being prepared for something better. Obviously, this is your destiny. Thank you, baby girl, for your donation. Many blessings to you guys. Last card here is Archangel Raziel. Seek and you will find. Be a wise one. You are a wise one. Look at this book. Some of you guys are writing a book. Some of you guys are reading books, gaining more knowledge. All right? Seek. You've been seeking knowledge. You've been seeking the truth. And you're going to find it, okay? Because you're wise. It's time now to, um, to share all this wisdom that you've gathered. You're being prepared for something new, something where you're going to now step into teaching others um, all this wisdom that you've acquired in whatever, you know, creative way that you want to do that, of course. Seek and you will find, all right? Something about that amethyst, just like I said. You're being purified. Even while you're sleeping, you're being purified. Okay. Whew. This is an intense reading. Intense, intense reading. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me just clear this out real quick. Yeah. Arletha. Thank you so much for your donation, Arletha. Many blessings to you, Arletha. Hey, we got Boogie East New York. What up? Thank you so much for your donation. <laughs> All right. Yeah, look, to the sea. See, God has been preparing you and moving you away. Like, you, you, you're writing solo. I'm hearing this is a solo journey, okay? You're writing solo, right? Because you were born to shine alone. Do you see anybody else on the stage? You were born to shine alone, all right? And so God is moving you. Some of you guys may move um, or you're being asked to travel. Some of you guys are having spiritual awakenings here. Um, 
Yeah. You're you're just being moved to a better place cuz you're starting a new life. You're starting a new beginning. Somebody here might be pregnant as well. Female watching, okay? Someone here is 39 years old. Wow, beautiful, higher power. You're chosen, right? This is God. This is the card of God, basically. Higher power, right? Let's stop playing. <laughs> so you're highly connected to higher power. Like Jay-Z said, I'm connected to higher power, right? So since I just mentioned Jay-Z, I'm really getting like boss energy. Some of you guys are really meant to um, bring in a lot of stability in your life and have this emperor boss energy, right? This is that Jay-Z card. This is that boss energy. <clears throat> That, that billion energy, okay? And then we have never-ending story. So it's like you've had enough. You're tired. You want to break these cycles. God has been telling you, listen, this is going to be a never-ending story if you don't leave this person. Peace and holiness. Thank you so much for your donation. Right? So if you don't leave the situation, you're just going to be in the same cycle over and over and over and over, just wasting time. You were you were guided by this higher power here to change something about your stability. Yeah, look, Treasure Island. Just like I said, something was slowly moving, delayed, but this money's coming. Treasure's coming. Listen, prosperity's coming. Like, there's a whole brand new fucking life. Yeah, you're moving away from chaos, conflict, haters, enemies, frenemies, whatever the fuck. There was chaos. There was conflict. It was a never-ending story. It was like you were always put in such a toxic environment. Pretty Soul 111. Thank you so much for your donation. And so, you know, God is guiding you. God is awakening and opening your third eye here. Okay? He's opening your real vision, your real eyes for you to see that the people that were around you or that are around you, um, path life number 33 here, they were only causing conflict in your life inside of you and outside of you, okay? They kept you stressed. They kept you small. They kept you hidden. Divine timing. Everything in divine timing. And then we have time to take a nap, okay? So some of you guys need to sleep, all right? Some of you guys really need to sleep a lot. Some of you guys really need to breathe. Because there's a lot, okay, so there's a lot of conflict that may be happening in your life right now. Somebody may be stressing you. They're not allowing you to breathe or take a deep breath, okay? It's like you don't have space. You may be living in a situation where you don't have space or somebody just suffocates your energy or you. Amy Herrera, thank you so much for your donation. Many blessings to you. You're being recommended to breathe, to do some type of yoga, meditation, exercise here, right? Thank you, Tucson Thompson. TikTok, though. TikTok. You the bomb. TikTok, you the bomb. Hey, you the bomb. You heard? You about to blow up. You're the bomb. You're about to blow the fuck up. It's time. It's divine timing. You're about to blow up. I'm way up. I feel blessed. All right? You're blowing up. Now I'm blowing up. I need a whole thing. Uh. Blowing up, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I be always channeling Drake. But anyways, listen, you about to blow up. You you the bomb. TikTok. Some of you guys are about to blow up on TikTok. Maybe you have a TikTok. I don't know. This just gives me like, maybe you're creating an app. Something's going viral. It's time. You about to drop. Somebody is about to drop something too because this is a parachute. So somebody's about to land something. You're about to land at the right place at the right time or your music is about to drop. Your videos is about to drop. Your content is about to drop. But this, you're about to blow up. This could be happening on the 15th, the 6th, the 7th, the 14th or 11th of, of, of a date here of this month or next month or whenever, okay? Yeah. You're the bomb. Literally, I love that. Like, you're the one that's going to blow up. You're the one that's TikTok. You've been, you know, oh my gosh. I love that card. I never um channeled it that way before. So that's dope. Yo, I'm really channeling right now. Um, Bobby Justice, thank you so much for your donation. Many blessings to you. So you're about to blow the hell up. It's your time. Tick tock, all right. The clock has been ticking. I feel like this is your time to be freaking calm, all right, because 
All right, Spirit is saying you need to center yourself. You need to center yourself. It's time to take a nap, retreat, okay? Connect to your intuition. You're about to start a new life that's going to be more relaxed, okay? Um, you're getting, you might be having dreams about it. This is something that you've dreamed of. Either way, I feel like Spirit, God is guiding you to breathe at this time, to relax, because things are about to get hectic. You're about to blow up, all right? You're about to blow up. So, of course, you're going to need a brief. <laughs> you're going to literally need to brief. Somebody's going from 29 to 30 years old. All right. Thank you, Becky, for your donation. Many blessings to you. <coughs> I love you too, guys. This is crazy. This is a... Yo, we got soulmates on the bottom, though. We got soulmates on the bottom, though. You're not alone. All right. You're not alone. I'm here with you. You have a deep knowing. Okay. Somebody has a deep knowing that there's a soulmate out there for them. Spirit says, of course, you know this person or you had dreams about it. Some of you guys never met your soulmates, but you have dreams about a certain person that you never met. Some of you guys already met your soulmates. Okay. You have this inner knowing that that's the one spirit is saying, yeah, that's your confirmation. Um, if you really feel this calling, like this attraction to somebody that they're really your soulmate, okay? I feel like you're about to meet that too. You're about to meet that soulmate. Milton Bays, thank you so much for your donation. Many blessings to you. Um, Mainda Bennett, thank you so much for your donation. I do apologize, guys, if I don't say your names right or anything like that. I would like to apologize beforehand, respectfully. We have all that glitters ain't gold, right? Exactly. All that glitters ain't gold. Ha! Yo, what I just heard is crazy. Listen, all that glitters ain't gold. You were the true treasure. People thought that you weren't going to make any money, that you had no talent because things were always going slow for you. There were always delays in your path. Okay. Um, wow, dude, I'm getting so many downloads and we have faith on the bottom. Oh my gosh. I need to calm down because I'm like a child at these things. I get so excited for you guys because you're my fam, right? Anyways. Oh, I just heard on the 16th. I don't know what the hell's happening. Something happening on the 16th for somebody, but listen, the mask is coming off. God is about to expose these people. God is about to expose these people who they truly are too. So their mask is coming off and they're about to realize that you were the freaking treasure this entire time, that you were the anointed one. While they, all that glitters ain't gold. These people were wearing the most expensive clothes, having the cars, the house. They were looking like they had everything. Putting up the pictures on the on their on their on the on the Instagram or whatever, showing like they were living life lavishly. Mind you, this entire time right? Mind you, this entire time, they were not who they thought you were. I mean, you know, they weren't, they were never true to themselves. They were never authentic. You were the treasure the entire time. And that's why God slowly but surely was putting you in these trials. Because then these people, look, you see this treasure, what do you think they would have done? They would have taken everything. Look, this is somebody that's piling up money. This is somebody that's a gold digger. This is somebody that's never true to themselves they're just hungry for money they wear a mask and i ain't saying she a gold digger mm, but she ain't messing with no broke broke you understand that's what i'm getting here so like i said you were slowed you were delayed but your treasure was always there this was this was given to you this was your anointing right this could never be taken from you it could have been delayed but it was because you were around people that were fake you were around people that were wearing masks hyping you up, you know, acting like they were your friends, like they were your family, like they were your whatever, your partner, your lover, but they were not. The mask is falling off. These the people are hungry, freaking money hungry people. While you over here and you, I feel like you took the, um, you took a different path. Thank you, love recycled for your donation. You took a different path. You took the path less traveled and it took you to your destiny. Like I said, this is faded for you and you have a deep knowing. So whoever you are, you obviously know, right? You have a deep knowing. You have a deep knowing. Spirit in some way or another has shown you signs in your dreams. You're very wise. I'm seeing owls. You're about to go towards Treasure Island while your enemies who've been piling up all this money, they're still unhappy. 
I feel like you didn't have anything. You could be a Pisces. I feel like you didn't have anything. All right. But you were still happy. You were still authentic. You still connected with God. You never, mm -hmm. you know, but these people, they were only happy if they were, ha if they were building up money. All right. They thought that money would make them happy and all this kind of energy. And guess what? They're about to see that they were fake and you were chosen. They're about to see that you were hidden in plain sight, but you were the star the whole time. These same people really thought that they were the stars. These people really thought they were boss. They're about to see who the fuck the real boss is. They're about to see who really made the calculated moves. You see these chess pieces? They're about to really see who really made the right move. Who really made the smart moves. You won. Checkmate. Checkmate. You won. Ooh, David, you got out of an Epsom salt bath. That sounds so nice. Woo. Shit, I want to take one tonight. Love is the holy grail. Yes, sir. Checkmate, though. You understand? Checkmate. <laughs> Thank you, Becky, for your donation. Many blessings to you guys. Hold on. I think I got a text, too. Okay. So, like I said, these people that were fake, they were wearing a mask. They were trying to... They were trying to hide you from this money, from this light. Okay, these were people that were covering mm -hmm. your light. You see, this is you in the back. This is your light. And they were covering it with fake gold. Okay, I'm hearing pyrite. Like, they have fake gold, fake riches. They're, they're posting things, buying cars, houses, bags, uh, shoes. I don't freaking know what people buy nowadays. I'm personally not materialistic. Um, I personally don't wear any expensive brand stuff, not because I can afford it, but it's just not my thing. I like wearing my Goku shirts. I'm simple like that. You understand? Phoenix, um, Starseed, thank you so much for your donation. Listen, these people around you were pyrite, fake gold, all right? Fake gold. And you, the true treasure. This is so beautiful. Like, I really feel emotional, like crying, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, Nefera, thank you so much for your donation. Many blessings to you. Yeah, you see that? That's crazy, guys. That's crazy. It's like you shine bright like a diamond just by being you. Does this person right here have any jewelry? She doesn't even have a necklace. This is somebody that had to literally save so much money, and yet I'm hearing gluttony, and yet they're still unhappy. They had all this money, and yet and yet you alone. While you're about to run into a divine soulmate twin flame here. Yeah, we have a tw this is a twin flame. Yeah, guys, there's a twin flame here in your journey because look, hold on. Fuck, if my nails can grab it. Look, remember this was the first car that popped out, Twin Flame? So, yeah, this is Soulmate Twin Flame here. Deep connection from a past life, right? And this thing is faded here. Look, there's a treasure that's faded for you. None of these people, they were faked. I'm hearing some people here fake their talents. But you didn't. Thank you, Nefera. You didn't. This person right here, she's not even wearing a ring, a necklace, an earring. Like, do you see this girl? She's wearing nothing. She's just being her. She's wearing a dress. She has fairy wings. She has a star on her, which is the anointing that God gave her or him. See, this is the anointing. All these stars, the star seed energy around you, the divinity around you. This is such a powerful message, guys. Um, I'm so glad to have 1,428 individuals here to hear this message. It definitely comes from a higher power. You're plugged. You're plugged to source. You're the treasure. You're the gift. And you're the bomb who's about to freaking freaking blow up. Masculine energy here. Again, it's that emperor. You the boss. You say you the best. Yeah, look, building blocks. You're building an empire here. That's why I said Jay-Z. Look, yin, divine feminine energy. Come to the edge, yo. Go take that risk. Stop stalling. Go take that risk. If you fall, the universe will catch you. If you fall, the universe will catch you. Look, just use your imagination. This is something you dreamed of. I'm hearing that song. This is what dreams are made of. I have something to love. I got it all. I don't know. I'm hearing that old song. This is what dreams are made of. Okay. Yeah. This is faded. You're about to, you're, you're no longer going to be hidden. So point blank period. Sean369. Thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the magician. 
Yeah, this is crazy. Anyways, thank you so much, Cynthia, for your donation. Many blessings to you. Okay, yeah, look. Do you believe in magic? Coming on so strong. There's something about magic here happening, guys. Magic is in the air. Look, chop wood. Spare says chop wood, all right? You put in the work. This is something you worked in, all right? You need to cleanse, detox these energies. Get rid of these people. If you haven't done so already, get the hell out. You're about to shine, all right? I want to see what the shining is coming from. So hold up. I keep hearing that song. I'm way up. I feel blessed. Listen, you're way up. You're elevating. You're way up. You've ascended already. You're highly ranked. They can't reach you. These lower frequencies can't. That's why I keep getting that. You're way up. All right. They can't reach you. They can't reach you. They can't manipulate you. You see this devil's trying to reach you, trying to grab your hand. They can't reach you. You're way up. You were blessed. Okay. So, um, Lindsay, thank you so much for your donation. Fukano. All right. Let's get this life purpose deck. Just to really see real quick what is faded here, all right? Um, now again, this is just uh, if you know. Let's just let's just see. <laughs> yeah, you're you're freeing yourself from something. You're meant to liberate people, okay? You're like the liberator or the savior here in some way. And I feel like you love yourself. You know who you are. These people, they're all that glitters ain't gold. They don't even know who they are. That's why they have to. Buy materialistic things. They don't know who they are. But you, you close your eyes. You look within. You know who you are. You know who you are. All right, spirit. Clarify this face. What's faded here for my collective? Clarify fates. What is this talent that is faded? We have leadership. Just like I told you. You're meant to be a leader here, okay? It says, take charge of this situation. You're about, wow. That's yo. That's Joan of Arc right in the middle. That's Joan of Arc. So you're a warrior here. You're a leader. You're you're you're. Wow. Yeah. I'm getting King Author energy too. <gasps> Whoa. I feel like crying. Oh my gosh. Oh, I never looked at this card like this. It's like my third eye today is beyond open. Okay. Let me show you. I hope you can see this. Look. Hold on. Let me move this here. Do you see this, guys? Hold on. Hold on. Do you see this? That's Joan of Arc right there. This is a warrior leader here. These are two angels anointing her, putting on the crown. Do you see that? The whole cover that I put for this live was the crown because I felt like you were being crowned. You're being chosen. And then it's so beautiful that look, this is you looking up to God. See, this is you looking up to God and you have two angels putting the crown on your head. We can't make this up, guys. This is so holy. This is so spiritual. Like, I can feel it. I feel like crying. Like, I'm not going to do that, but. Someone here is being put to leadership. God is calling you to the forefront now. This is a spiritual war. You're being called to the forefront. You're being called to lead. That is saying, that's it. No more hiding. That's it. It's time to be who I am made you to be it's time to be on your purpose look at this look at this joan of arc she's literally looking up at the sky she's literally having a conversation with god higher power and it's like she knows she's like i'm ready for battle she's just getting the anointing god is sending angels down to you to anoint you god is sending two people two angels this could be literally two earth angels two individuals that see who you are that see your talent god is sending people to anoint you to give you your crown, to give you your place, because you're fucking royalty. And there's a castle in the back of this card. You're building an empire. Period. This is so beautiful. Clarify the fates. Clarify the fates here. What is this talent? We have travel. All right? Somebody here is about to travel. You're being called to travel. Look, environmentalist. Your life purpose involves traveling. You're building the empire. Slowly but surely. Now I feel like things are about to speed up. They were slow before. I heard COVID. It could have been affected by the pandemic or something. Look, career change. I told you, some of you guys are changing careers. You're being guided to change your career and embark on a whole new journey. 
The travel card also gives me like, I'm way up. I'm still blessed, right? You're ascending. What does an airplane do? It goes high to the sky. It ascends, right? So you're ascending. Wow. I never saw that leadership card like that. This is so powerful. You've been waiting for this moment. It's like you're telling God, like, I'm ready, God. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Like you're literally, you're, 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 you're on fire right now. You're on that boss energy, right? This is a leader. This is a boss. That's an emperor. They take charge. You're taking charge. Look, you're a speaker here. Powerful throat chakra. You're a speaker. Your life purpose involves your skills of orientation. See, you're meant to be, it's like some sort of president here. You're meant to be giving like public speeches, right? We already have workshops and seminars. So you may be a motivational speaker. You may be a life coach. You may be a singer, you know? Something with communications, right? Something with speaking. You speak into people's souls, okay? You're meant to speak to people. That's your leadership that you're being called to speak for others that can't speak for themselves. Okay, so hold on because all these cards fell on the floor. Thank you, Elaine, Eileen, for your donation, love. Okay. I haven't been looking at the comments. Okay, we should be good. Um, yeah, let's see what this is faded here. We have school. Okay, so some of you guys, um, the answer you're seeking involves going to school. Some of you guys are going to school to become public speakers, motivational speakers. You might be taking a communications class here. Again, it's like there's an angel guiding you the entire time. Because whatever you speak, you're like, you're very powerful when you speak. People listen. You see this? You've been guided. The angels around you, all around you. You highly protected. Yeah, yoga. All right. Like I said, you could be a kundalini yoga teacher here. <clears throat> Thank you, Dr. Delightful, for your donation. Thank you so much, Empress. Yes, yeah, spiritual teacher. Can't make it up, right? You're a spiritual teacher working with Ascended Masters. You heal with your classes, with your sessions and seminars. Some of you guys are school teachers or your yoga teachers. Some of you guys are spiritual teachers. Some of you guys are public speakers. You give seminars, you teach in one way or another. This is your life path if you're not doing it right now. Yeah, spiritual guru, there we go. Music, exactly. I told you this, I told this to you guys. Look, music. Some of you guys play an instrument, violin here. You do music, you're a singer, rapper, right? You make, you create beats. Um, you create healing sounds. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. So this is somebody's about to be on the stage here, like I said, right? And it's because you're a very spiritual person. What you have to teach, even through your music or through whatever, okay? It's it's very healing. You're working with so many angels. You're literally collaborating with spirits here, divine entities. Wow. Okay, last one, we have flowers. I don't know why that keeps popping up, but yeah. I'm just getting flowers are like praise, right? Like when you're on stage, people throw you flowers and things like that. So yeah, flowers wants to come out. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. So some of you guys are being asked to work with flowers. Okay, I always do personally. I always have some like roses with me. Um, so whatever flowers calls to you at this time, you are being encouraged to work with it, no matter what flower it is. Okay. Thank you, Jasmine, um, Edie or yeah, Edie, many blessings to you, love. Thank you so much, Tina. Wow. Tina, thank you so much for your donation, my love. Wow. Such a big donation. Thank you so much. Many blessings to you. One more. Spare says one more. Yeah, nutrition. Okay. So like I said, some of you guys are chefs, but look, you're highly protected. Your destiny's protected. You protect it. 
even while you change careers. Some of you guys are afraid to change careers, even though you know what's fated for you because it's connected to your heart. You have this fear. If you change careers, you may not have enough money. You may not be stable. All right. You were meant to be a boss. You were meant to be a leader. So you're not meant to work for someone else. This is not going to be an everybody's message, right? But whoever I'm speaking to, you're not meant to work for a nine to five. You're not meant to work for someone else. You're meant to create your own hell of a business, your own entrepreneurship. And you also heal when you cook for others. So if you want to take up chef, start a YouTube for cooking or whatever, that'll be dope for you. Creative expression. Yeah, somebody's going through a career change. Comment down below, whoever you are. But we have creative expression. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. So like I said, you're a writer, you're a lyricist, you're an earth angel here. You create with your words, with painting, with drawing. You're just highly creative. You like to express yourself. This is part of your life purpose. It's very healing to you and it will be to the people that are listening, watching, or buying Um your what you have to offer to the world obviously someone is writing a book here so continue writing that book yeah you're the beam of light wow you're the beacon of light oh my gosh i'm just looking into this cards it's like i never looked into them look you're the beacon of light but look what's up there that's an angel you're this angel beam of light who's lighting this entire lighthouse, a whole town, a whole world. You're the light of the whole fucking world. Who the hell are you? Look. See? That's an angel right there. You radiate energy everywhere. God is going to put you somewhere where you are going to radiate your light everywhere. Somewhere where you're needed, okay? So if, if you've been relocated, guided to move, to change career, do so. You're a beam of light. Oh my gosh. I feel like you are earth. You're an angel who came down earth here. I feel like sometimes you, I don't know. I'm not going to say that, but I feel, I feel some creepy shit here. This is some crazy divinity here. You have that pure white light. That's an angel right there on top of this beacon of light, which is you. Woof. Sensitivity. You're highly sensitive. All right. Well, guys, um, I am going to have to end it here because my phone is on 5%. Whoa. Okay. That sucks. Okay. Because I really enjoy this reading. It might do a part two if spirit guides me to it. Not tonight. Um, but, you know. Yeah, it's like you're, you're a being of light and love here. Wow. Yeah, that's what I mean. You're about to share your whole light with the world. And it's going to radiate across the universe when you do. God is going to position you somewhere where your light is going to be needed, where your light is going to be healing. Okay, God is getting ready to position you. So follow through. Listen to your spirit guides. If some of you guys are going through a career transitioning, this is some real shit here. All right. So um, any last things here before I leave? Let's just see if Spirit has anything to say about... Yeah, you're a psychic here. You're a psychic, okay? You're highly intuitive. Kundalini awakening, just like I said. This was already here. Somebody here is going through a Kundalini awakening. Abundance is your birthright. Like I said, prosperity is coming. Wow, and we have star. Woo, spirit is speaking today, dude. This is crazy. You could be Aquarius, but you a star. You a born leader. You a naturally star. This is this is faded. All right, so don't worry if it's ever going to plan out. This is faded. You just got to chill, relax, do you. Continue doing your work. All right, look, abundance is coming towards you. Just listen to that intuition. All right, some of you guys have gone through a psychic here, but you a star. All right, you a star. Those are the last messages spirit wanted to give you. Some of you guys are being asked to leave, okay? Just walk away. Walk away from a situation. All right, so thank you, everybody, that joined this live. Um, that was amazing. We have 1,389 people watching. Again, if you feel called to watch any of my other lives, please do so, because I really feel like they all, um, they're all tied in together, right? It's like I'm solving a one big puzzle. <laughs> Um, yeah.
I live a life I deserve. Bless. Fuck a vacay. I feel better at work. Bless. All right? That's how you're going to feel. You're literally going to love what you do. You're going to feel like you don't even need a vacation. Like, everything that you do is something that you've always wanted. You're happy. You're being celebrated. You're being recognized. So I honestly don't see you... Like, I just see somebody feeling very fucking blessed. Like, finally, I did it. I deserve this. I live the life I deserve. You're finally walking into that purpose of what you deserve, okay? Yes, it was delayed. Yes, it took its time. But you learned the lessons throughout the, the ways, you know? You always learned your lessons. And um, it made you stronger. I'm hearing that song, What Doesn't Kill You Makes You Stronger, okay? So, Whoever hexed you is about to feel hexed themselves or is already dealing with this hex themselves because that shit was sent right back. You're getting crowned. You're being crowned. You're being put in position. God is positioning you right now. God is positioning you right now. So wherever you feel led to go or to do, just do it, okay? You must follow your own guidance. You must follow your own heart. You can listen to tarot readers and things, but ultimately, right, we all have free will decision. You have to make yours, okay, in your heart. Are we still here, peeps? Whew. Thank you, guys. I'm way up. You're literally about to be way up. This is an elevation, a level up you didn't even think was possible. This is like way up. Like nobody's going to be able to reach you. You know, they won't be able to reach you. It's like that Travis Scott song when he was like, he don't have phone service when he's like in an island or a mountain, something like that. I forgot that song. <laughs> but yeah, you're going to feel like that. You're going to feel like... There's no service. I can't call you right now. I'm way up. I'm literally in heaven right now. Yo, bro, where you at? Um, I'm in heaven, so you can't reach me. <laughs> I'm unreachable. I'm all the way up in heaven. And I don't mean you're dead or something. Um, This is all symbolism, right? Like you're literally just too high, too unreachable. You're seeing from a higher perspective. People like you're higher. You're, you're above these individuals who didn't believe in you. So thank you, everybody, for your donations, your likes, your shares. OK, don't forget to um, show some love. Join me tomorrow for another live. OK, I'm also going to be doing the Zodiac signs. I'm going to start the Zodiac signs. Um, but yeah, thank you, everybody, for your donations. If anybody else would like to donate, you can do so through my cash app or PayPal. OK, thank you so much sending you all love and light thank you god universe for this amazing um message i sent all this energy back to the light spirit i close out this reading here and now beautiful okay bye guys you guys just stop being chatty <laughs> be blessed guys Thank you so much, Hope Coles, for your donation. Oh, before I go, um, don't forget to add me on Instagram, okay? Add me on my personal page. Add me on my um, tarot page if you like my vibe, all right? Um, obviously, no pressure. <laughs> um, yeah, don't forget to, you know... Hang out with your girl. <laughs> Anyways, I'm out of here because I'm being a little silly right now. I know. I know I am. Um, yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great evening. Peace out. Bye.